Atoms can be connected together in different ways. And there are a few different ways that we can connect atoms. Three primary types of bonds can be formed. So when we connect atoms together, that forms what's called a bond. The first type of bonding we're gonna describe is ionic bonds. And this is the sort of bond that we get when one atom completely donates an electron to another atom. So it literally just hands it off. Let's take a look at this happening. What we have here is an atom of sodium. And over here we have an atom of chlorine. And sodium tends to give up one of its electrons. So it's just gonna take this electron and hand it over to chlorine. So now after that, um, if we think about sort of the situation here, now sodium has one more proton than it does electrons. So there's a slight imbalance there. Um, this whole thing has a slight positive charge and this whole thing, it's got an extra electron now, so it has a slight negative charge. Consequently, this is going to be attracted to this. Uh, by the way, these are called ions now. An atom that has a charge is called an ion. So this positive ion is going to be attracted to this negative ion. And that's called an ionic bond, that attraction between them. The next type of bond is a covalent bond. A covalent bond involves sharing of an electron between two atoms. So instead of completely handing over the electron, now the, um, if the first atom just kind of partway holds it out and it, um, the electron ends up being shared between two atoms. So covalent bonds, let's look at a couple of examples of covalent bonds. Right here, this is actually a water molecule. And right here, what we have going on is this oxygen and this hydrogen are sharing an electron right here. That black line represents the shared electron. And then there's another shared electron over here between this hydrogen and this oxygen. So this molecule has two covalent bonds in it. Now, a couple of different styles can come up for covalent bonds. Uh, the oxygen atom tends to hold on to the electron a little bit more strongly. It pulls the electron towards itself a little bit more closely than what hydrogen is able to do. So we say that this is a polar bond. It has a negative end and a positive end. That's what these symbols are representing. This is called a partial positive. This is called a partial negative charge on this end of the molecule. Same thing over here. The oxygen is more negative than the hydrogen, so we've got a partial positive and a partial negative down on this end of the molecule. So that's called a polar covalent bond. Polar is referring to the unequal sharing of electrons. Right in the middle here, we have a different type of molecule. This is methane. Um, methane consists of a carbon and four hydrogens. And in this case, all of these bonds uh, this is a very symmetric molecule, so all of the electrons in the bonds are going to be spread kind of equally around in this molecule. So there's not particularly a negative end or a positive end. Um, all of these bonds are, are pretty equal in terms of the sharing that's going on. So we would call this a nonpolar covalent bond. Actually, there are four nonpolar covalent bonds in this molecule. Finally, just as a quick note, it is possible to share more than one electron between two atoms. And so if we're sharing two electrons, we would call it a double bond. If we were sharing three electrons, we would call it a triple bond. Uh, we won't be encountering those quite as much as single bonds. So mostly we'll be concerned with these two types of covalent bonds in this course. All right, tying back in with polar covalent bonds, actually, this leads us to our third type of, of bond, a hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond is a special type of attraction that can exist between molecules, actually. So instead of talking about bonds between atoms, now we're dealing with entire molecules. Let's just take a look at the picture here to see what's going on. What we have here are three water molecules. Here's one, here's two, and here's a third one. Okay, so three water molecules. And remember, these bonds in water, they are polar. So this molecule right here, it has a negative end and it has sort of two positive regions. This molecule right here has positive regions down here, negative region up here. So um, think about what that's going to do. If we've got a positive end and a negative end of two adjacent molecules, 
they're going to tend to kind of be attracted to each other. They will tend to stick together, kind of like a magnet. So right there, that attraction, that is what we call a hydrogen bond. It's an attraction that involves hydrogen in one molecule and some negative charge in another molecule, usually oxygen. Same thing over here. This water molecule forms a hydrogen bond with this water molecule. Hydrogen bonding leads to a lot of special properties of water, and we'll get into that in the next section.